Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Affordable Flyers, Lance Air Company has new owner. Sleek Scissor Tail G750 offers speedy good looks. Texas Haircraft Colt has a few surprises for ANN. And I'm your host, Holland Lee. Welcome to Airborne Affordable Flyers, our programming designed to help you get and stay in aviation as affordably as possible. Overseen by the editorial staff of the award-winning Sport Plane Resource Guide, we know well the challenges faced by today's sport flyers, and we're here to help you enjoy flying to the utmost. Let's get into today's stories. Lance Air Company has new owner. Jet EXE Aviation has acquired storied kit aircraft concern Lance Air, henceforth Lance Air Aerospace. Jet EXE Aviation founder and CEO Captain Augustine Joseph, a retired Indian Air Force wing commander with over 40 years of military and commercial aviation experience, stated, quote, As we embark on this exciting journey of growth and expansion, our compass points steadfastly toward the future. With an unwavering commitment to delivering exceptional customer service, technical support, and advanced aircraft models for our customers, we look forward to navigating the skies of innovation and shaping the future of aviation for generations to come." End quote. Jet EXC Aviation is a global aviation industry business conglomerate comprising an FAA Part 145 certified repair station offering aircraft maintenance repair and overhaul services, flight training under Part 141, aerospace research and development, aircraft fleet management, and aircraft sales. Renowned for sleek and innovative airframe designs rendered in highly advanced composites, Lancer aircraft have garnered multiple awards over the company's four-plus decades in business to include multiple victories at the world-famous Reno Air Races. Lancer, since its 1981 founding, created a global community of Lancer aircraft owners that comprises thousands of members who have logged in the aggregate hundreds of thousands of flight hours and 14 Lancer models and variants thereof. Coming up after the break, accidents involving home-built aircraft declining. I grew up in an aviation family. My dad flew airplanes and flew air shows actually, so ever since I was three years old, the only thing I've ever wanted to do was be an air show pilot. It's cliche, but I get to live my dream every single day. I'm currently using the Hartzell Talon, the new aerobatic propeller. It's increased the performance of the airplane. It's made the harmonics balance throughout the airplane so much better. By far the best aerobatic propeller that I've ever flown behind. Well, hello, fellow pilot. I'm John King. And I'm Martha King. You know, we've all had our flying lives disrupted lately. Well, King Schools is here to help you stay up to date with courses that you can access on your desktop, iPad, or iPhone. If you'd like a refresher or just want to expand your aviation horizons, we have a course for you. So head over to kingschools.com slant rusty today for details. Welcome back. Now let's take a trip around the patch for some shorter stories. Accidents involving home-built aircraft declining. The EAA notes that the incidents of accidents involving experimental category amateur-built aircraft in fiscal 2023 was the lowest on record. All told, fiscal 2023 saw a total of 28 fatal accidents involving amateur-built aircraft. The cited figure represents a 28% year-over-year decline from fiscal 2022, during which 39 such mishaps occurred. In addition, the 40 fatal accidents involving experimental category aircraft which transpired in fiscal 2023 represented a 30% decline over the previous 12-month interval, falling 7 below the FAA's not-to-exceed period for the 2022-23 through 23 fiscal year. Scalebirds Update – Flight Tests Underway Once Again 
Scalebirds has resumed flight testing the P-36 Hawk prototype after their return from Oshkosh, and some incremental changes noted from previous testing appears to be paying off. The most recent flights show that the flaps and landing gear mods are working as planned, while cooling issues and the new Oleo landing struts got worked out. Initial flap investigations are underway, and Sam Watrous reports that there is little trim change and a definite improvement in the speed profile. Ray Foundation continues to support EAA youth programs. The Ray Foundation, a longtime patron of EAA's youth programs, has established a $600,000 matching grant. Through July 31, 2024, the foundation will match every dollar committed to the EAA's Education Center in Oshkosh, Wisconsin. EAA Aviation Foundation Director Margaret Brill stated, quote, This doubles the opportunities with every dollar supporting the Education Center. The Ray Foundation has seen the enormous benefit to aviation education that has already occurred at this facility in just over a year. And this is a way to ensure that EAA can focus on the quality, widely available programming that helps the discovery of possibilities within flight, end quote. NTSB releases final report on April 2022 glider accident. For those flying aircraft that can be disassembled and stored away when not flying, this recent NTSB report provides some cautionary details. An April 2022 accident involved a Slyker ASW-19B glider that killed its pilot after departing Jacksonville, Florida's Herlong Recreational Airport. NTSB determined the accident had likely been caused by the pilot's improper pre-flight assembly of the glider's elevator control, which occasioned a loss of pitch control on takeoff. That's it for today's trip around the patch. Let's get back to the rest of the news. Sleek Scissortail G750 offers speedy good looks. Scissortail Aerosport showed off their Go-Get Air G750 last month at the Mount Vernon Sport Aviation Expo in Illinois. You simply don't see that many taper-winged aircraft these days, much less one that pushes the LSA concept in advance of specs that will be coming as soon as Mosaic becomes law. The sleek G750 was easily one of the most attractive aircraft on the field, an all-composite, low-wing, two-seat, side-by-side tricycle-geared hot rod with 912 to 914 Rotax power, but designed to be upgraded to both the 915 and 916 series in future iterations. A short test flight yielded stall speeds in the low 40-knot range, top speeds above 130 knots, and really nice handling. Low-speed handling was obedient without any asymmetries evidenced during stalls, and had a perfectly amenable stability and control profile that lent itself to cross-country flying. In other words, a nice and lighter feel when doing pattern work and a firmer feel in the cruise range. Imported from overseas, the machine is repped by a Tulsa, Oklahoma operation with some very experienced folks at the helm. We look forward to seeing what happens with the G750 in the future, especially once it gets the latest generation Rotax engines. Coming up after these messages, Texas Aircraft Colt has a few surprises for ANN. Throughout the globe, Piper Aircraft has hand-selected the very best in company representation, service, and support. From first inquiry to acquisition to product support, Piper Aircraft ownership is seamless and worry-free. Piper Aircraft authorized dealers, factory trained, factory connected. If it looks good, it usually flies good. The Bristel series of aircraft is proof of that. Furthering their legacy of safety and efficiency, Bristel is proud to feature the Rotax 915 IS Turbo in the current lineup of aircraft. The 915 IS Turbo power plant offers more power than ever before in a light sport aircraft. Learn more about Bristel at www.sportflyingusa.com. Welcome back. Texas Aircraft Colt has a few surprises for ANN. There is no end to the high-wing Cessna-looking birds out there in the LSA community, but now and then one actually surprises us. Texas Aircraft's Colt 100 did just that. ANN test pilot Jim Campbell noted that a well-designed cockpit was accented by the fact that it wasn't that difficult to get in and out, an issue that more and more sport aircraft buyers have asked us about and one that we're going to pay more attention to. In flight, the Colt 100 shines. The 105-knot two-seat high-wing tricycle-geared side-by-side Colt 100 exhibited some of the best stability and control characteristics we've sampled this year in this category of aircraft. As a potential trainer or as a local cruiser, the Colt 100 is going to be a pleasing experience. 
And if you need more room, there is a four-seat follow-up design in the works, the Stallion, with the parent company in Brazil. The Colt 100, though, standing by itself, is a pretty good aircraft. And that's our show for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne, and don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.